I'm Namrata Nadkani, editor of the Marine Professional Magazine, here to talk to you about our October edition. Now, our theme this month is crewing, and we have explored this topic from various angles, including factors affecting the human element, commercial pressure on crew, and suggestions for continuing professional development. We have spoken with ship managers about the investments needed for the industry to stay afloat even in a downturn. And this message is carried forward in our interview with OSM's Gear Secusator, which sheds light on the changing dynamics between ship managers and their crew. Of course, most of you know by now that the IMO's Ballast Water Convention has been ratified. But despite the support from flag states, it remains deeply problematic for owners and operators. Not just from a compliance viewpoint, what with the uncertainty surrounding the US Coast Guard type approval, but also with regard to the bottlenecks when sourcing systems ahead of vessel dry docking. In addition to features on the impact of carbon dioxide on fish brains, marine lubrication, retrofitting of ballast water and scrubber systems, and propulsion arrangements, this edition also has a feature on antenna design. The evolution towards more compact units may not just make these more user friendly, but also carries aesthetic benefits as there would no longer need to be those unattractive domes. Oh, I must mention an article that I found rather interesting. Our writer Bob Carling has written a fascinating piece that looks at marine protected areas, and he considers the complex definitions of words that have been designed to safeguard these areas. As always, we look forward to your input on our marine murmurs questions. Now, our discussion question for this month is how should whistleblowing crew be compensated or protected for the risks that they have taken in coming forward? And our poll asks, will we see the first unmanned ships in the next 10 years? Please submit all your answers to us by October 17th using the link that you can see below or by emailing marine at caspianmedia.com. We look forward to hearing from you and also seeing you at upcoming industry events. But if you'd like to find us online, you can look us up on LinkedIn or find us on Twitter at, at the Marine Pro. We hope you enjoy your edition.